Nope, haven't seen him yet. Thanks for the heads up, Eric. See you after classes tomorrow. Night! Ah, there we go. Favoring the cute and fluffy approach over the invasive glitter poof? Can't complain. I suppose the wibbly eyes are supposed to distract me from being mad at you for pushing Eric down the slippery- (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) 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 Okay, Jareth. I am slightly less horrified that you're back than I am at that being back. So, um, what happened? We all expected mischief when you got Eric to Paris, and I still disapprove of your interfering, even if I do kind of get why you did it. But then we got Aslan Crowley's postcard with an all-clear, And Christine said the only sign of Eric's presence was finding a sprig of rosemary on her windowsill. Eric went all hair-achingly noble on me. It was incredibly depressing. You were the one meddling with his redemption arc? Jareth, are you drunk? I told you. I'm depressed. And obviously a lesser man and forever a scummy, only halfway decent villain. Because I cannot do as he did and let you go. Can't. Shan't. Do not want. Uh, J- Jareth. Sarah, are you all right? We heard you scream. Jareth, quit molesting. Struth, is that snuggler back? Damn it. What's Legolas doing? Clearing the grounds, not narrating, is his one job. She's fine. Sarah, too many strange men feel entitled to burst into your bedroom uninvited. Ugh, you think? Jeez, it's a good thing it's not irony your type is allergic to. I can't cope with that fail field right now. Can I hibernate in your underwear drawer until I feel better? No. Your eyes can be so cruel. Go to bed, Jareth.